Our school's mission is to develop capable and trusted disciples of Jesus Christ. In the time in my life that I strongly felt I was a capable and trusted disciple of Jesus Christ was during my full-time missionary service in Chile. I believe the reason is because I was sincerely committed to best accomplish what God expected from me when working in his kingdom. In my daily life, I often feel God's trust when he places people in my way, giving me opportunities to serve and help them. It brings me joy to realize that I am capable of lifting others and following the promptings of the Spirit to know what to do. I learned that to be a capable disciple of Christ, I need to have the skills and the knowledge that are necessary to do His will. A good way to understand this principle, in my opinion, is to use the if-then tool. If I repent, then I can invite others to repent. If I learn Spanish, then I can teach the people in Chile. If I study human resources management at LDS Business College, then I can help employee, employers and employees to fulfill their goals in harmony. I have learned that we cannot do what we are not capable of doing. The key is to ask God what he needs of us, then to make a personal decision and become a capable disciple of him. I testify that when we make that decision, we will hear God inviting us to act, and we need to be ready to answer like Samuel did. Here am I. President Gordon B. Hinckley said, the Lord would want you to be successful. He would. You are his sons and his daughters. He has the same kind of love and ambition for you that your earthly parents have. They want you to do well, and you can do it. When I was seven years old, I participated in a tennis tournament. I played the first game and it was bad. I lost with not even a remote chance of winning. After that game, my dad, who was watching and cheering up for me, took me to the side and told me he was going to help me win that tournament. He practiced with me during the time I had between that game and the next one. He reminded me how to serve the ball and how to focus on the game. I knew my dad believed in me. He could teach me how to win. I went to the next game, and by the end of the day, I took the first place trophy home. That experience helped me understand better the influence of a loving father. Our Heavenly Father teaches us in similar ways and in much more meaningful manners. I say, like Paul from the Old Testament said, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. During my second semester at LDS Business College, I participated in the inter interpersonal communications class. During that semester, I realized I was really failing at listening to people and making them feel heard and validated. I made a personal goal to listen better. I practiced that for many weeks. Those who know me know that I love to talk, so being quiet and listening can be challenging for me. I prayed many times, asking God to help me develop that talent. A couple months later, I was leaving work to go to school. As I walked through the lobby of the Joseph Smith Memorial Building, I saw one of my classmates and walked in her direction to greet her. As she looked up to me, she started crying. I knew that my Heavenly Father was trusting me to listen and lift her up. At that moment, I felt that I could listen to her. We talked, we listened to each other, we shared personal experiences, we cried and had lunch together. I cherish that experience in my heart. When I think that something is too hard or that I'm not capable of doing uh, something, when I think that I cannot accomplish anymore, I like to remember that becoming a capable and trusted disciple of Christ is not something we do alone. No one has ever done it alone. Just as he walked side by side with his disciples in the New Testament and guided them, he walks and guides us. We need to believe that we are capable and that it is possible because we are doing it with him. We need to be sincerely committed to best accomplish what God expects from us when working in his kingdom. When we do so, he has promised, I will go before your face. 
I will be on your right hand and in your left, and my spirit shall be in your hearts, and mine angels round about you to bear you up. I know that promise to be true. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs>